Hi, this is Tom McMillan with the Lead One Bite of the Week. One possible outcome of a ruling in favor of the plaintiffs in the consolidated Alston Jenkins trial in the United States District Court in California could allow conferences rather than the NCAA to set the rules regarding student athlete compensation. Of course, the NCAA would likely appeal to the Ninth Circuit, but the possibility of conferences setting compensation levels could signal the next major reason for schools changing conferences, a phenomena commonly referred to as conference realignment. The last Division I conference realignment occurred in the late 1990s through 2013 when 78 schools moved conferences. The reason for this realignment was the allure of bigger and better media deals, which resulted in greater financial inequity in college sports. Some schools won with bigger TV deals and others did not. If the plaintiffs win in the Alston Jenkins trial, the next wave of realignment could be schools joined together to form conferences with like-minded philosophies regarding the amount of scholarship that member institutions may provide to Division I football and basketball players. The president of Notre Dame, Father Jenkins, has even said that the Fighting Irish would likely explore the creation of a conference with like-minded schools, more along the lines of the current collegiate model if pay-for-play comes to be. Similar to previous waves of conference realignment, this next wave could further exacerbate the competitive differences in college sports, where some schools would compete for highly prized athletes by offering greater financial resources compared to other schools who would struggle to offer Division I college sports at the same level. Further, some schools may even withdraw from the FBS altogether because they cannot keep up. Although a decision in California awaits, one of the possible consequences of a pay-for-play college sports world is a further competitive gap between the have and have-nots in college sports. We will soon find out. That's our Bite of the Week.